Hello, readers and now viewers of KYSportsStyle.com. Contributing editor Joe Cox here, and fall is in the air. The grass doesn't grow a foot every day. The temperatures are cooling, which must mean it's time for college football. Year three of the Mark Stoops era on tap for our Kentucky Wildcats in 2015. And I just wanted to give you my two cents before the season starts on what to expect. Well, yeah, uh, the uh, SEC Network called for an 8-4 and four record. I'd call that a trifle optimistic, but at the same time, let's spitball it and see where the season goes. The opener, Saturday, September the 5th, coming soon. Louisiana Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns are probably a better team than most Kentucky fans expect, but at the same time, I'm calling for the W. 1-0 for the Cats. The following Saturday, down to Columbia, South Carolina, against Steve Spurrier and the Gamecocks. Uh, conventional wisdom is this could be a game that Kentucky wins, but at the same time, Steve Spurrier didn't get rich losing consecutive games to the Wildcats, and I'm calling for the L. 1-1. One one. The next week, September the 19th, probably the biggest game of Mark Stoops' young career at Kentucky. The Florida Gators come to town. And they're vulnerable. New coach, uh, a lot of new faces for Florida, but at the same time, it's a long streak. How many times have I picked Kentucky to win in this game? Too many. But at the end of the day, I'm going for the W. Cats knock off the Gators 2-1. and one. The next week, Missouri comes to Commonwealth Stadium. And under all circumstances, I think Kentucky has a pretty good shot at that game. But... One of the hardest lessons is playing well off of success, so going with the L. Two and two. Uh, the next week, Kentucky gets a break. Eastern Kentucky comes to town, and the only question I've got about that game is whether the fisticuffs from the offseason spill over. It's a W. Three and two. Uh, then open date comes to town. I think Bill Curry's team beat them seven to six back in the 90s. Uh, this leads up to the Thursday night game with Auburn on October the 15th. ESPN in the house. Big time atmosphere for college football. I'd love to call it a win, but Auburn is really good. And so I'm going with the L. Three and three. And then this is kind of my surprise game. October 24th at Starkville, Mississippi. Um, Kentucky, of course, not had good luck with Mississippi State in recent years. But in the past, Kentucky's played well in Starkville. I think the Auburn game is kind of a bring-you-back-to-earth to sort of game after the Florida victory. And so I think Kentucky goes down to Starkville and does something they haven't done on the road in the SEC since 2009, and let's pick up a W. Four and three. The following week, Halloween, Tennessee invades Commonwealth Stadium. I'd love to see a win. I'd love to predict a win, but I just don't see it. Four and four at this point with four games to go. The next week at Athens uh, between the hedges against a very tough Georgia team that I'm going to pick to win the SEC. So I'm going to pick them to beat the Cats. Kentucky falls to four and five. But good news on the horizon. With three games to go, Kentucky goes to Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt showing signs of complete shipwreck. Looks like a W for the Cats from here. Five and five. The next week, Charlotte comes to town. Since it's not the Charlotte Bobcats uh, taking on John Calipari's basketball squad, I have no qualms about calling for a W. And actually, I might pick Calipari's Cats in the basketball game. Six and five, Kentucky hosts Louisville to end the season. You know what? The Florida Monkeys off Mark Stoops is back. Let's take the Louisville one off too. Call it a W. Seven and five, another raise for Stoops, another raise for the assistants. A nice mid-level bowl game. Let's hope not the Music City, which is a great game, but I've been several times and probably so have many of you. Uh, I'll be back later this week with a column kind of running down why I think what I think, but the prediction from here is a 7-5 and five regular season, which would be huge moving forward in recruiting and would keep Kentucky on the fast track to the kind of places we haven't seen Kentucky football be in a long time. Uh, I'll be back shortly with the season preview and then midweek looking ahead at that Louisiana, Louisiana Lafayette game, he said. Uh, hope to see lots of you at the site, even upside down. TYSportsStyle.com. Again, Joe Cox, thanks so much.